All right, hello people. It's day five of our fasting and juice cleansing and we are done. Yes. Well, we're done with that part, but the most important part's coming. So listen in, listen in. But I wanted to tell y'all, great job with the work you did, with sticking it through, with, you know, doing the exercises, checking in. Some of you didn't check in as well as I would like. I'll be checking in with you later. All right. But so two important things that I want us to recognize, okay? The first thing is the next five to seven days are very crucial, if not even more important than the fasting that you just did. Because what you start to put back into the body is a big deal. You know, you've just had some cell regeneration, old cells that no longer needed to be there have probably died off, gut reset a little bit, immune reset a little bit, your, some of your dopamine and mood receptor reset a little bit. You go putting it in the next five to seven days, crap into the body. You will not only jeopardize what you've created, you're actually going to make it a little worse than it was before. All right? And so what you want is making sure you start getting healthy, nutrient-dense foods. Nothing inflammatory, high sugar, or any of that stuff. Mucus-producing foods, so no gluten, no wheat, no dairy, no cashews, peanuts, um, any fried foods, seed oils, which a lot of restaurants used to cook. You want to stay away from those because that is high cholesterol, that is inflammation in the body. And so that's why I have at least this day five, the customized soups some of you have, salads some of you have. You can add a little bit in there with maybe sweet potatoes, you can add lentils, you can add chickpeas, but you can wait on the meats to maybe over the weekend and add that a little bit in there. The yogurt I recommend because I had your meals planned and I wrote that down for this weekend. You got those as part of your cleanses, right? Um, follow that. For the yogurt, I like Coco June. Coco June yogurt is what I like um, for people. It's really nice. And the probiotics in there actually work. Not like all the other stuff that's just like really dead. Okay, so stick with that. You can start incorporating some more fruits, lots and lots of berries. Your body is going to be craving like high antioxidant stuff right now. Lots of berries, blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, nuts, like um, almonds, raw, not roasted, pistachios, walnuts, just a little, little handful. It's going to be good. Start getting your body back incorporated. Drink lots of water, flush your system out might take a while for your poops to start coming in because you've kind of emptied everything so don't get alarmed about that stay on your magnesium if I've given you that as well okay and you can start back on any of the supplements that you were on recently um, let's see and the second most important thing second most important thing here is the reflections any changes that you made for yourself stick with it especially with the food if you have had food cravings, addictions, or even other cravings or addictions in your life that you're working through. There's things that some people wanted to let go of. There's new routines, new ways of being that people wanted to start incorporating. Stick with it this next five to seven days. Keep that in mind, especially when you're moving out there, you want to choose certain foods. As you go back to those foods, it's going to reflect on how you go back to these cravings and things you wanted to let go and what you needed to change. This is not esoteric talk. It's really true. That's why in a lot of biblical, sacred texts, people want to get aligned. They're fasting. They go out in nature. They stay by themselves. Because you can really make a big impact in your life that way. Okay? For me, I got a lot more clarity. I got to get more into my heart. I got a lot more joy. You saw me doing some dances recently. I dance all the time. But I can definitely feel the shift for me. Okay, so I, I know you feel the shift if you dig deep. Now, some of you are supposed to be checking in, didn't check in, I'll be checking on you, but keep checking in. As you're working through things, anything you want to put back in your diet, let me know if you're confused, send me a message. Anything else you need support with, send it in because again, these next five to seven days are crucial with what you put in your body, even more importantly than the fast. You've cleaned out, old cells have died, new ones are in, so be very mindful of that and be mindful of your state of mind and your emotions and reflect and make sure you don't use food as a crutch anymore, okay? And stay centered and stay grounded and 
get tempted by friends or family, you let them see the changes in you that will actually bring them to your side to do what you're doing. You don't go the other way. All right. So I wanted to just harp on that for y'all today. Have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed Friday. And you know where to find me. So just send a message on the app. I will be checking in on that today and over the weekend. The weekend might not be as fast as a response, but I'll still be checking in there. All right. One love, guys. Ashe.